What's up my little locals? I'm here with Myla who is probably going to contribute absolutely nothing to this video other than looking so cute. I mean, look at her. How could you not want her in this video? So I know I'm a little bit off centered. It's throwing me off. Hopefully it's not throwing you guys off too much, but I just couldn't resist. She's so cute. I don't know if you can hear her, but she's snoring. Uh, her and I had a really late night. I went to one of my friend's live podcast shows in downtown Los Angeles, which was about an hour and a half away from here. And uh, I got home pretty late, but so worth it. So much fun. So I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you guys know her and I are both tired. I'm makeupless. I'm in my baggy oversized clothes and my voice is raspy from cheering so loud last night. Danielle, so proud of you. Love you. Downtown LA at night. Probably the first and last time. <laughs> if you're smart. In my life. But we're here and I have updates for you and I've missed you guys. I took some time away from making videos, took some time off of social media just to get my mental health and my spiritual health where it needs to be. Yeah, take that time that I needed to uh, close out the year strong and hopefully start the new year with um, just some fresh perspectives and fresh energy. So when I came out here, I brought my Toyota Tacoma truck. So in Texas, my truck worked out great and it was exactly what I needed. In California, it's actually been a bit of a burden. <laughs> the gas prices with my truck are just outrageous. Um, I don't have any trunk space, obviously, in a truck. And the job that I have out here, I have to carry my patient supplies all around Southern California with me. Oh, it just, you know, the truck has not been very compatible with my lifestyle out here, sadly. Yeah, that, that's why I've been a little bit distant and just taking time to do things that I needed to do and, you know, adulting at its finest. I did sell my Tacoma truck and now I have a 2010 Toyota Venza. Her name is The Vins because in my mind when I tell people like, hey, let's take The Vins, it's going to sound like, hey, let's take The Vins. Like I'm in a Mercedes Benz, but then when we get out, they're going to see it's kind of like if a minivan and a RAV4 birthed a child and then out came a Venza and that's what I drive now. it costs to fill this baby up my truck cost $98 to fill up from empty so here we go me $25 less to fill this up. That's going to save me about a hundred bucks a month, if not more. Great choice. So part of becoming the local is doing a lot of things for the first time and then sharing my experiences with you guys and letting you know if it's worth it. 
if it's not worth it, what to expect. And one of my favorite things that I've done out here so far is go to my very first Mighty Ducks hockey game. Now, I am a 90s kid through and through. I was born in 1988, so I remember the 90s very well. And I may be a bit biased, but I think it was one of the best decades um, in the last 30 to 40 years. And so, uh, yeah, I grew up watching the Mighty Ducks. And I just never realized that the NHL team out here in Anaheim was created by Disney after the movie The Mighty Ducks was made. I had no idea. And so I was really excited when some friends from church invited me. I just had this energy and excitement to go experience it for the first time. And it did not disappoint. We happened to go on Legacy Night. And so they actually brought some of their star players from the 90s that night and did highlights. And, and um, they wore their old school purple um, Ducks jerseys and there was like mighty ducks, you know, up, up around the arena and the energy was just unreal. And thankfully the ducks won, they beat the sharks and now I'm officially a ducks fan. And I feel like I was always meant to be a Californian um, just by how invested I already am in sports teams out here. So yeah, go ducks, quack, 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 V formation, lead them Conway, I am a fan. Today I am going to a local Christmas market, which I'm so excited because I hate cold weather. I think snow is beautiful, but I do not want to be in it. I just want to see it from afar or in a warm, cozy place or on TV. So the idea of Christmas out here is right up my alley because it's still kind of warm and sunny. But there's Christmas decorations up and there's just the festive energy. So Laguna Beach, which is, you know, within 35 minutes of me, just opened this weekend their um, Christmas art festival. And it will happen every weekend, I believe, for the next five weeks, um, five to six weeks through Christmas. So yeah, I'm just going to go explore. I, I read that they're going to have live music. They have... Santa's workshop and Christmas decorations and I'm just feeling very festive because next week is Thanksgiving. Um, you know, sadly, I will not get to go home for Thanksgiving this year. It's actually my first Thanksgiving to not be home. Uh, but my friend Danielle and her family are so kind, so gracious, allowing me to come uh, spend Thanksgiving with them. So, you know, they're, they're my family out here. And um, I'm thankful for that. But I do get to go home for Christmas. And so this is just kind of hopefully going to get me in the mood for being home for the holidays. And I have not seen my family since I moved in July. And so I think it's going to be a sweet time. So come to the market with me. Look how pretty this little valley is on my way to the Christmas market. 